this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Good morning, William Beaver! I can finally see you! There's finally not a giant snowman standing in between us, and actually, in that outfit, you almost look like a bit of snow. Look, if you yeah, turn around and tuck down, there we go, you're perfectly camouflaged. Tell you what, William, I'm gonna turn around, you're gonna have five seconds to hide, like hide visibly and then I need to see how quickly we can spot you okay three two one go one two three four five right, I'm gonna turn around and see if I can throw an egg at William as fast as I can right where is he I actually can't see well there he is down there I can see him and there's an egg <laughs> what a shot as well that's the new game William it's called pretend to be snow and I throw eggs at you it's an amazing game it's everyone's gonna be doing it soon <laughs> Right then, let's go in to eat my breakfast, shall I? Nom 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 nom. Barnaby, uh, you can come to me, and we're all gonna go and head to the, the love garden, uh, so I can announce who it is that I'm gonna be adding to it today, but I'm sure you probably knew I was gonna do that anyway. <laughs> right then, today to the love garden, I am gonna be adding Dexter, and the reason I'm adding Dexter is because he made all of these models by himself. You can see that there's Squid, me, uh, Barnaby, uh, a cake, and a really amazing looking bed as well, and I want to say thank you so much, Dexter, uh, for making those really incredible looking models, and welcome to my love garden, and hello, Barnaby. <laughs> Right then, William, where- no, William, let's come over here. We have a big t no, that's not a carrot for you, it's only a model carrot, William. <laughs> you can't eat that one. Right, we have some building today uh, to do today, William, so we need to get a move on because we're building a pretty ginormous building, but it's just us. We have no time to, to chat or stand around doing nothing. We need to we need to get moving, don't we? Right, let's stop talking and let's, uh, <laughs> let's get building then. So before we start building, there is one thing I need to do. I need to visit a part of my lovely world that I haven't been to in ages, probably years it's been since I've visited here. So I've been to my library recently, but some of you may not know, some of you may know, that there is a secret section hidden behind the fireplace in the library. Look, if I pull this lever, and actually you won't have seen this yet, William, so look, if I pull this lever, ta-da! It all opens up. This was actually some of the, the first redstone I ever did, and I was very proud of it back then. And you know what? I'm still a little bit proud of it. <laughs> and it leads to here. And as you can see, this is where all of the, um, all of the jewels are. I got a big diamond block there but what we know oh, hello Barnaby but what we need to do today is we need to grab some of this gold because uh, I'm actually kind of running out of gold in my my main gold chest and uh, I knew that I had a, a nice supply uh, of it in here so I need um I think I need eight pieces today so let's go and uh, grab that's uh, seven and then actually oh no there's a chest and there's a chest underneath isn't there I think I might have some gold inside of here oh look at this I got 26 gold blocks <laughs> I could have just grabbed these without destroying the room well uh, I'll fix the room later I'll fix that later. Look, I've got loads of diamonds and loads of iron in here. I totally forgot about this place. If I'm honest, I completely forgot about this place. So that is going to be very handy. We'll definitely uh, be using that in the, the future. But for now, let's go and uh, shut the, the, the secret so no one goes and steals it. Uh, Barnaby, you can... Excuse me, Barnaby. That's exactly where I wanted uh, to go. Let's go and shut that up. I know it's not very secret, seeing as I've done it in a video and everyone's seen it, but let's just assume the villains wouldn't watch my video, so they would have no idea uh, how to, to steal all of those things. And actually, there's something else I want to show you, something that I know you haven't seen because it's brand new, and uh, that is some terrain. <laughs> Probably not as exciting as the, uh, the secret jewel room, but have you noticed anything? Have you noticed these trees over here and all of this land here? Look, this used to be where the water starts. You can see this uh, land has got all the way up here, so it's close to the, the boat. All of this land over here is brand new. And the reason for this is, uh, of course, just so I can build uh, more things in the, the town because we are actually uh, starting to, to run out of room a little bit around the town. And all. Oh, I guess Barnaby's joining me today throughout the, the entire episode, I assume. And all. Oh, I can hear some spiders underneath us. But yeah, uh, the land has built out all the way to, to here and all the way over there as well. That all used to be water. So look, if I go over here, and if I break away some of this dirt, you'll see that all of this used to, to be water underneath there, uh, but I've basically gone now and uh, covered the entire place over all the way back there. Uh, so yeah, we can build a load more mini games in this area, and uh, up on here we can go and build a whole load of uh, shops and restaurants and whatever else we fancy building. And speaking about what we fancy building, what are we building today? The question that everyone's asking, and the answer is we are building an art gallery. So the idea for this place, I'll kind of explain it once I've started building and kind of say what's going to be 
on the inside. You can probably assume there's going to be art on the inside, but <laughs> it's not going to be, it probably won't be what you expect. So let's go and start building. So this rose here, I placed this down and uh, this is to, to mark where the doorway is going to, to be. So let's go and uh, build this here. And actually, let's just build this whole front bit. It's supposed to be 25 blocks along. So... What's going to be the best way to work this out? So if I just go and... So let's say this is the middle. So let's count 12 blocks this way. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then if we go 12 the other way, and then the middle one, that should make 25. I'm going to count along and double check this. So let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. There we go. This fits in perfectly. So now uh, we need to go back this way. And this way, we're only going to go back 17. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I halfway through kind of forgot how far we're building. And then this side, we're going to go out eight. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I know we're building a weird shape here, but it's all going to, to make sense soon why we're building it in this, this weird shape. So uh, let's go and do the, the same on this side and link it up. Basically, there's going to be a main entrance corridor here. Then in each of these side rooms, there's going to be different installations. And I'm going to talk a little bit uh, more about that later on. But for now, uh, let's go and carry on building this. So I think I now need to go eight from here. So this goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then this should be 25 blocks back overall. Actually, no, I think I need to go one more. So I think it needs to be eight that you can see. And then I now need to go nine across here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And fingers crossed... If this is all worked out, this should all link up perfectly with what William Beaver was doing on this side, and we should have the, the general shape uh, of what the, the, the museum kind of art gallery place uh, is going to, to be. So this seems to all link up. Does, does this look good, William Beaver? Does this seem to, to fit in? Right. If this isn't right, we're going to go with it anyway, because this will just have to, to do. So actually, let's just see, does the, the doorway line up? This should line up the middle there. Yeah, I think... I, I, I'm genuinely very surprised about this, but I think we actually managed to, to do it all uh, correct and present. So let's go now and just start building up some of the, the walls. So there's going to be columns in kind of some of the, the corners, but the rest is just going to be simple blocks like this. And the reason... Uh, we're building most of it uh, just out of these quartz is because we're going to have it so that the, the walls on the inside are the same as the walls on the outside, uh, just to, to kind of maximize the amount of room uh, that we have on the, the inside. And I wanted all of the, the walls on the inside to be white, because that's what you generally get in art galleries. Normally the, the walls are kind of just white, and then that way you can focus on the, the art uh, rather than kind of just the walls. You know, they don't generally just have a load of random other decorations and paintings on the, the walls, because it, yeah, it'd be a little bit distracting. So let's go and uh, add in some of these columns in the, the corners, and then we can go and start building the, the walls up. And yeah, I can actually finally explain what the, the idea for this place is. So, it is an art gallery, but I'm not going to be doing all of the art. The idea is, is that there's going to be, uh, what, five different installations uh, in this uh, entire place here. And so I'm going to do one of them. I'm going to, to have one room, and then William Beaver uh, is going to, to have a, another room, and then Fizzy Elephant uh, is going to have a, a room, and then uh, so yeah, Polly, William, Fizzy, and then the Lunar Friends as well. And the Lunar Friends, they are going to have a, a room as well. And basically, it's going to be a completely blank room and I'm going to leave it completely up to them to build whatever sort of uh, installation or kind of display model painting whatever they want I'm just going to have that as a space where they can express themselves in whatever way they want because to be honest normally in my lovely world I'm the one making all the decisions it's Stampy's lovely world and they're my helpers and they get to, to kind of do what they want and they get to play the games you know it's not a bad life being a helper overall but I am a little bit bossy I will be honest so this is their chance to express themselves in whatever way they want, build whatever they want, and kind of, yeah, just uh, have some fun, I guess. So there's going to be a, an entranceway here, and then there's going to be the two rooms there, two rooms here, and then this one room at the, the back here as well, uh, which someone can uh, go and uh, decorate that uh, however they want. And we're also doing something really fancy with the entranceway, and I can't wait to, to show you that in, uh, in the next episode. We're basically going to have a reflective floor. The floor is going to be all shiny. You're actually going to be able to, to see a reflection in the floor, and I've kind of come up with a, a pretty cool way to, to be able to, to do that and I can't wait to, to show you what that's going to, to look like but for now uh, let's go and try and get the rest of the roof done it uh, looks like Barnaby's <laughs> jumping up to, to help out so this is kind of what the the overall shape on the the outside's going to, to be and oh it's becoming night time William Beaver's getting ready for the uh the approaching googlies we might have to, to battle them off as uh, as we build but yeah let's go and add in some some stairs so 
the thing is, like, I know, I know the building does look a little bit plain from the outside. And the reason for that is just because it's all kind of just this, uh, this same, you know, quartz. But that's really mainly for the inside, you know, just what the, the look of the, the inside's going to, to be. Because it's all going to, to line up and be the same. Like, I couldn't do anything crazy and colourful on the outside. Because otherwise I would just have to, to build this thing, like, absolutely massive. And it wouldn't fit in. I wouldn't have any space for it. And it would just be a, a whole big problem. But I think it's going to look quite good. And it doesn't really, it doesn't look similar to anything else I've built in the, the area. So I think it's going to kind of just stand out just because it's different from everything else. And Barnaby, are you having fun up here? <laughs> right, let's go and start building these stairs. So this area here, where the actual rooms are going to be, this area is going to be completely flat. Uh, this area is going to be kind of just these stairways around the outside, then just flat in the, the middle. Then there's going to be a big pointy bit uh, in the, the middle there. And uh, that's going to kind of build up. And then I'm going to do a, a little shape with the, the the gold that I got. And then also some glowstone as well. You might notice that I got some glowstone in my pocket. Uh, that's kind of for, for that section as well. And Barnaby, oh, careful, but maybe I should sit down Barnaby in a, in a second because otherwise he's going to end up getting a, <laughs> getting himself hurt by jumping all over the place like do uh, dogs generally tend to, to do. So let's go and uh, start building in the this side here. You maybe start uh, doing the, the same on the opposite side, William Beaver, and then I'm going to go and uh, switch over and do the, the, the giant point in the, the middle because I want that top section uh, to have really tall ceilings because there's going to be chandeliers and things because uh, let me kind of just tell you a little bit how the, the reflection is going to work. So what we're actually going to do for that room is we're going to build it twice. We're going to build it normally. We're going to have some pillars in there, some uh, like all of the, the doorways and some chandeliers and stuff. Then we're going to build it again, but upside down and under the ground. Okay, bear with me. And the reason for that is because we're then going to put some ice or maybe glass, I think probably ice on the uh, as the floor. And then what that's going to do is it's going to give the effect of you kind of seeing the reflection of the, the room, but under the ground. So it does limit you in some ways. Like if I put something like a, um, like a crafting table in there or a painting, that wouldn't work because there's no way to put that block down upside down. But as long as I use kind of simple blocks, I can kind of build the, the room exactly the same, but under the ground. And then that way, when you look in the room, it kind of just looks like the, the floor is really reflective. So that's kind of what the, the main hallway is going to be. And then of course, these actual rooms here, I have no idea what's going to be inside of them because it's not up to me. It's up to, it's up to everyone else really. So I'm kind of just going to leave it up to, to them. Uh, to, to build whatever they want uh, inside of those rooms. I haven't yet decided what I want to do for my art installation. I haven't decided. I mean, my first thought is always to do something to do with cake. You know, anything in life, when I'm given a decision, I try and relate it back to cake in some way. But I don't know if that's too obvious. I kind of want to, I don't know, to, to maybe surprise people and do something a, a little bit different other than just doing something to do with cake. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of have a little bit of a think about it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and uh, bring everyone in and and uh, hopefully at the, the same time, we're all just going to go and, uh, and do all of our, our installations. Then at the end of the video, uh, we can go and have a, a little bit of a look around and see what everyone did, see how they're different, see if there's any similarities. And I think that's going to be a really fun time. Uh, but for now, let's go and uh, start throwing some torches around because I did hear <laughs> William Beaver battling off some googly. So it'd be good if we don't have uh, anything uh, spawning up here on the, the roof. So let's go and start throwing some torches around like this. And I believe that this staircase now needs to go across here. Then this is going to be the, the start of the the point so if you kind of uh, do the um uh, the same on the other side maybe fill in that roof there william beaver and then we can kind of uh, build this up and hopefully the the point is going to meet perfectly in the the middle i always say fingers crossed because we never know <laughs> exactly how this is going to work so it is kind of a unique shape as uh, as always i didn't want it just to be kind of a, a giant block because i have done that quite a lot in the the air area around here i've built quite a lot of big boxes which is a very easy thing to do in minecraft but i wanted this to, to kind of stand out and look a little bit different so so we don't need stairs along this section here. This just needs to, to be normal quartz blocks. And what we could do is kind of build this section up as a as a triangle already. Then that's going to be an easy place to, to start placing the, the stairs on. So if I kind of build uh, this up here like that, and then like this, and then this is going to be the, the top point there, and we can just put a, a half slab on the, the top there. So uh, let's kind of change this so it's not a corner and do a stair like that. And then, yeah, it's going to be like this, and then that's where the half slab's going to be. And so, yeah, as you can see, the uh, the ceilings are going to be pretty high. And I'm going to do the, the chandeliers in quite an interesting way as well. I'm going to be using... um. um 
a glowstone, uh, but then also stained glass. I'm going to be using yellow stained glass to, to kind of make a, a weird shape because, I don't know, in kind of like these places, like these museums where they're trying to do modern art, they're always trying to be quirky and different and imaginative and things. So I think that uh, kind of doing things slightly different on the, the inside is going to be very fitting uh, in this area here. So let's just go now and uh, do these stairs along like this. As you can see, I am absolutely awful at doing stairs like I always have been. <laughs> and I always really struggle doing this. But if you've got to remember, we need to do the the exact same upside down luckily though from the inside you can't really tell that they're stairs so when we build this again upside down we can just use normal blocks because no one's going to know the the difference anyway look at barnaby he's just running around like crazy in the inside i wonder if i could have my dogs building their own art installation i know what it'd be it'll just be a bunch of dogs sitting around in the room with pork chops or something i don't <laughs> my dogs generally aren't builders so maybe we should uh, leave that up to, to us so what i'm gonna do now then is i'm gonna pop down the, the the ladder and I'm gonna go and start doing the the little decorative bit that I told you about with the um uh, with the, the gold, uh, just to, to show you how that's going to be. And I'm also uh, going to make myself a, a few more stairs as well, because I did run out of them, and it's always good to, to have a, a few spares, so I can go and jump up and to help out Willing Beaver. And oh, half slabs as well, while I'm here at the uh, the crafting table. And look at me, by the way. Look how good I'm being, only using one single crafting table. You don't see that every day. <laughs> and I can also, while I'm here, uh, go and make the, the, the doorway as well. And I think we're going to do the, the dark oak door, because it looks very grand and very important looking, so we can go and uh, uh, plonk that down on the, the front here as well. And then this is going to give us a good idea of what it's going to look like. So it doesn't look quite grand and important. I think it does already. It actually looks quite good. It doesn't actually look that plain. And uh, I'm going to decorate it even more now uh, as well and uh, make it look better. So let's just uh, nerd pole up here with these um uh, with these blocks. And it's going to be a very simple shape here uh, just, to, just to add a little bit of decoration. So if I just make a uh, kind of like a, I guess like a little cross uh, here uh, and then I'm going to fill the, um, uh, the blocks of gold in here. And it's good because I very rarely build out of gold just because it's hard to, to get enough gold to, to build out of it so it's also going to make the the building stand out that way and just kind of make it look really important just because you know you don't see much gold you see a lot of yellow wool pretending to be gold <laughs> but not very much there we go like that ring there that's supposed to be gold but it's not actually gold because there's no way uh, i'd be able to, to mine enough gold to to, <laughs> to build all of that out of real gold so remember i am going to have to build this same thing underneath her as well and i'm going to kind of do the the same pattern on the uh uh, the inside also but let's uh let's try and link up the the path actually i should probably just link it up uh with the the, the spruce and the birch and i don't have that uh, on me yet but let's uh, uh go inside it now and yeah you can get a pretty good idea of what it's gonna be like so there's gonna be walls uh, all the way along here on the the inside like this and then there's going to be a, a wall up at the the back uh, as well and uh, then this is going to split the the rooms and fingers crossed if we got our dimensions correct uh, everyone's going to have the the exact same size room so there'll be a doorway in the middle right there sorry Barnaby <laughs> and then yeah this is going to be the the size of the room they have so it's not an enormous room it's not like uh, they're going to be able to to build anything uh, amazing it's going to be more just about kind of how good of a, an idea can everyone come up with uh, for their builds you know rather than building something that looks you know crazy and massive and it's going to be good to see like what people build and kind of how it you know represents their personality it's going to be really interesting because seeing as my helpers don't speak you know it's kind of it's kind of hard for them to express themselves and so this is going to be their their best chance to express themselves with their um Oh yeah, with what they build. So let's just, uh, let's not worry about building all of these walls up for, for now, because we can do that uh, pretty easily in the, the next episode. I kind of just wanted to, uh, just to, to show you how it's going to be and just kind of mark it. So the walls are going to be uh, all the way along here like this, and then uh, along this here. And then these sections uh, here are going to be split up with uh, another wall down the, the middle, uh, just to, to separate them into to two different rooms. So once I've kind of uh, built this in, uh, let me kind of stand back for a little bit and kind of show you roughly uh, how it's going to, to look. So does that make sense for how it's going to be in the, the insides? This is kind of just the, the giant lobby bit is going to have the uh, the reflective floor down there that's going to look really fancy. No, she tell you what, what I could do while I'm inside here is if I build the, the rest of this wall up here, I can go and add in the uh, the other pattern, uh, the same as we uh, have there as well. And it's kind of good. Oh, what was that? Is that, is that a well? There's a witch. What are you doing inside? No, you're not allowed in here. <laughs> Where did that did that witch spawn inside of it? And are you okay, Barnaby? Oh, lucky Barnaby didn't get poisoned then. That was the the worry there. Where did that witch come from? Hello, William. <laughs> you're a little bit too late, but there was a witch that just popped in here out of nowhere. I got to be really careful, actually, be, uh, really careful, because I've only got uh, half a heart now, so I need to be <laughs> very careful not to to fall down from where I am. That actually shot me then. That actually shot me. I always kind of forget about witches when I like think of the the different 
different enemies in the game. For some reason, I just always forget about the, the witches, which I shouldn't do, because that's probably what they want me to do, to forget about them, and then they can come and surprise me and splash me with harming and poison potions like that. <laughs> right, let's go and fill in this uh, this cross set again here. It's going to be exactly the, the same as the, the other side. And another reason for the, the glowstone up here and then the, the chandeliers is because I can't really have any torches, because if the, the floor's going to be made out of ice, and I had a bunch of torches around the place, then the floor would melt away under your feet, which actually could make a pretty cool mini game now I come to, to think about it, but not really what you want uh, inside of the, um, uh, the, the art gallery, and you can see underneath there, I've already dug away all of the, the ground underneath, uh, so we're going to be ready to, uh, to to build that in the, the next episode, and then the, the, the ceiling's going to go over here like this, so you won't see the cross, but anyway, let's go uh, back and focus on the other side, What's, what was that, what's going on here? The dancing, <laughs> the dancing gunpowder, ladies and gentlemen. May I introduce you? Introduce to you the world's first dancing gunpowder. It looks like a magic show, doesn't it? It's just levitating up and then dropping back down again. Anyway, let's go and have a look at the the outside. I think William Beaver's probably finished it all by now, to be honest. Let's go and uh, <laughs> climb up the the ladder and uh, go and check it out. Look at this. This looks pretty cool, actually. I really like the the look of this place. I think kind of making it more simple and having it elegant and grand with the the gold and the glowstone really does make it look good. So that's the the outside of the, the, the art gallery done. Uh, so yeah, in the, the next episode, uh, we're uh, popping inside and uh, building all of this section here and doing the, the reflective floor and uh, yeah, showing you how that's going to look. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty awesome. Uh, but sadly, that is the, the end of this episode here. Thank you very much to, to William Beaver for helping me build the, the entire art gallery in just one episode. Well, the outside of the, the art gallery in one episode. And thank you, of course, to you, Barnaby, for, for being here and making me smile every time I see you. And of course, a very big thank you to all of you for watching. And I We'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!